تهربونا یوسف جام کرانیم در نت بجونم روزی رسون Islam tells us awaiting for the return of the Mahdi intidhar al-faraj should not be something that you lose hope in never lose hope in the return of your Imam and never lose hope that Allah will look to you with mercy for the best of all actions and the best of all a'mals is intidhar al-faraj is waiting for this relief and for this Imam to return so uh, there are many other traditions here that I will not uh, narrate uh, uh, but just to conclude this we wish to say that in preparing for our Imam there are many things we can do but first and foremost is to purify ourselves this purification can happen not just by reflection but by looking at how we lead our lives one very very important thing is our source of living and our earning because many of the ahadith which I have not narrated here that I was going to is related around this issue that uh, people will fail or people will pollute themselves because of earning a living that is unlawful or there will come a time when it will be impossible to earn a halal living and there are incidents as well that you know are in the books to say that the people who are who met the Imam after doing lots and lots of amals and ascetic practices and practicing occult sciences and ilmul jafr and numerology and all when they finally met the imam the imam showed them this message again and again that if you purify your livelihood if you make your living pure if you're careful of what you eat and what you feed your children if you carefully look at where your money is coming from because we think of halal and haram food only as the food itself is the meat halal but we don't sometimes think of where the money is coming that is purchasing that halal meat and the message from the imam time and again is that if we keep this at the forefront of our minds that what the food that goes into our body should be halal because that goes into our blood system that affects our thoughts and that affects our hearts then that is very very uh, uh, significant that we should look towards this inshallah um, on a night such as this, um, I will be ending with a short dua, which is from the Imam himself, a dua that we recite in the month of Ramadan, in dua al-iftita. And in these uh, uh, words, we will be complaining to Allah for the absence of our Imam and asking him to return the Imam as soon as possible. And uh, before we do that, we wish to send our greetings on this auspicious and blessed night, first and foremost, to Rasulullah himself sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad and then of course to all the Imams and it is important again I cannot stress enough to realize the importance and how lucky we are to be the followers of this Imam because Allah says in the Quran يَوْمَ نَدْعُوا كُلُّ أُنَاسٍ بِإِمَامِهِمْ on the day of judgment we shall call every nation with their Imam we are going to be called, if we are true and faithful to this Imam, we shall be raised with an Imam who is unique and unparalleled in many, many ways. Such that the other Imams used to long for him and say that if we lived in his times, we would come to his help. And if you think of Allah's relationship with human beings from the time human beings walked on this planet, the very first proof of God was Adam. All the prophets, all the messengers, all the Imams, he is the final proof. He is the inheritor and the warith of all the previous proofs of God. So for us to be blessed to be in his, uh, uh, amongst his followers and to be of his Shia and to have that faith to believe in him despite not having seen him is a great, great mercy of Allah, something that we should treasure and hold as precious and we should teach our children to keep that love alive and inshallah remain with it and we also pray to our Imam as well that he should also beseech Allah that his return should hasten and of all the communities of Shias inshallah may he choose us to be of those who come to his aid and may he choose us to be of those who follow him inshallah and may we be true inshallah to him so that on the day we see him not only is are we overjoyed to see him but he is overjoyed to see us inshallah and we pray to Allah inshallah that if he returns in our lifetime we may be blessed with martyrdom so that we may roll in our blood for his sake inshallah 
And if we were to die before he returns, inshallah, on a night like this, we should pray that Allah makes us of those who are raised from their graves to help the Imam. And we pray also to the Imam, inshallah, that before we die, if his return is to come after our lives, then at least we may be blessed with a vision of him once in our lifetime, so that that may give us solace and comfort that we are of those that he is pleased with, inshallah, and that he is proud to call amongst his Shia, inshallah. So we end with this dua uh, from dua al-iftitah, which is also from uh, Imam Sahib al-Zaman, alayhi salam, and we ask Allah and complain to him. اللهم إنا نشكو إليك فقد نبينا صلواتك عليه وآله. Oh Allah, we complain to you the absence of our Prophet. Your blessings be on him and his family. وغيبة ولينا وكثرة عدونا. We complain to you, O oh Allah, of the concealment of our leader and the abundance of our enemies. وقلة عددنا وشدة الفتن بنا. We complain to you, O oh Allah, of the scarcity of our numbers and the severity of our trials. وَتَذَاهُرِ الزَّمَانِ عَلَيْنَا And we complain to you, O oh Allah, of the victory of the era against us. فَصَلِّ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَآلِ مُحَمَّدٍ O oh Allah, send your blessings on Muhammad and his family. وَعِنَّا عَلَى ذَلِكَ بِفَتْهٍ مِنْكَ تُعَجِّلُهُ And help us overcome that by granting us an immediate victory. وَبِذُرٍ تَكْشِفُهُ وَنَصْرٍ تُعِزُّهُ وَسُلْطَانٍ حَقٍ تُظْهِرُهُ and grant us an immediate victory dispersing miseries. Give us a help that strengthens, providing us with an authority of truth which you manifest. وَرَحْمَةٍ مِنْكَ تُجَلِّلُنَاهَا وَعَافِيَةٍ مِنْكَ تُلْبِسُنَاهَا A mercy from you which is clear to us and a well-being from you which clothes us. بِرَحْمَتِكَ يَا أَرْحَمَ الرَّاحِمِينَ We ask you by your mercy, O most merciful, Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen.